The Hindustan Turbo Trainer 40 or the HTT 40 is an ebony show trainer aircraft. It is the first step for a young cadet to learn to fly. Designed and developed by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, it is fully aerobatic tandem seat turbo trainer which is built to meet the primary training requirements of the Indian Air Force. Right from takeoff to tight turns, it is designed to prepare a rookie pilot for the demanding challenges of world of modern air combat. This week, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited announced a major milestone, the first series production of HTT-40 aircraft with tail number TH-4001 successfully completed its maiden flight at HAL's Bangalore facility. HAL shared the development on its official X handle saying, the first HTT-40 series production aircraft TH-4001 which will train the next generation air warriors took to the skies today. With this, India's indigenous trainer has entered the production phase ready to replace imported basic trainers in the Indian Air Force fleet. Currently, the Indian Air Force uses Pilatus PC-7 aircraft for basic flying training. After phasing out HAS HPT-32 Deepak trainers in year 2014, the Indian Air Force requires up to 181 basic trainer aircraft but currently has only 75 Pilatus PC-7s, with the remaining 106 expected to be the HTT-40s. The HTT-40 is powered by the Honeywell 12B turboprop engine, providing a perfect blend for power and reliability. It comes with modern avionics and a glass cockpit featuring indigenous radio and standby communication systems, VHF omnidirectional range and instrument landing systems also known as VORILS. It will also have TACAN or the Tactical Air Navigation System alongside radio altimeter and identification of friend or foe instrument. This aircraft will also have an integrated standby instrument system or the ISIS. Added to that, air-conditioned cockpit, hot refueling, quick pilot changeover and zero-zero ejection seats making it a truly world-class trainer. Built to FAR 23 standards, the HTT-40 combines safety, agility and economy exactly what a training aircraft must deliver. So now how will the cockpit of HTT-40 look like? So let's try and understand with the help of this video wall. This cockpit is likely to look like this with a head-up display and analog and digital uh, gadgets as you can see in this particular image. Now what all uh, system it will be equipped with? Uh, it will have VOR instrument landing system that is VHF omnidirectional radar and the landing system basically to land at night or in uh, uh, foggy conditions, bad weather conditions, this is going to be very helpful. Then there is uh, a thing called tactical navigation, the TAC uh, CAN. So this is there for navigation purposes. Uh, it enhances uh, better navigation uh, for the pilot. So this is the second feature that uh, the pilot will have uh, through these instruments that we can see. And then there will be something called radio uh, altmeter or, or uh, red alt as it is also known basically to give uh, the exact uh, distance between the aircraft and the ground it is a uh, near real time distance between the aircraft and the ground this helps prevent accidents next is uh, the identification of friend or foe so this is uh, uh, another very important feature because as uh, the aircraft density increases, the air spaces get congested. It is very important to identify whether the aircraft is uh, a friend or a foe. So this uh, identification of a friend and foe is with the help of radars at the ground station and plus the codes that are sent uh, by the pilot uh, and the aircraft. And lastly, the integrated standby instrument system, which means that 
in case uh, one set of instruments fail you have another set of instruments as an overlay uh, as you can see uh, in this uh, cockpit you have both digital and analog uh, instruments uh, available so basically it's an overlay earlier this month defense minister rajnath singh inaugurated the second production line of htt40 at hals nasik facility alongside the third production line for the lca tejas mark 1 alpha he had flagged off the first tejas mark 1 alpha from this line and he urged the hal to aim higher in the global race for next generation aircraft unmanned systems and civil aviation India must always stay ahead in this new race and not lag behind. The minister called HAL the backbone of India's defence sector, appreciating its role in realising the vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat in aerospace. With HTT-40 now cleared for production and the IAF ready to induct it, India has taken another step towards self-sufficiency. in pilot training from design board to runway this aircraft symbolizes the rise of indigenous innovation and the confidence of indian industry the htt40 is more than a trainer it's a symbol of india's flight towards self reliance as the next generation of air warriors takes to the skies they will do so on wings made in india